Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So this video is part of a series converting a VW T5 high top into a fully fledged DVLA registered camper van. All the jobs I've done so far are fully uploaded on my channel already and this video is going to be making an overhead locker compartment. The compartment's going to have a wide opening door and I'm thinking of actually mounting a TV to that as well. We'll see, that's going to be later down the line. But as you can see at the moment, I've already insulated all the way around the full high top, all the way around the inside as well. So now I need to get this actual overhead cab in place before I can get the actual final bit of the headlining back in place. Then I can start building up from there. So as you can see, there's literally nothing there at the moment. This is just the plain plank on the overhead cab that you get as standard on the actual high tops. So I'm going to have to be making a full cutout with then an access door in that as well. i say it's going to be going pretty much uh, securing to this plank and to the metalwork as well. I've already done a similar sort of thing in the T4 that's out there. So i say there's another video already on my channel of this sort of thing. i say this is going to be the, in the T5. So I thought I'd just do another video just to show exactly how I'm going to actually start constructing this up together then carping it all up and then getting it back in place now i'm not sure if i've got enough ply to actually do it in one sheet i've got a good few good size off cuts in the garage so i'm going to have a sort through see what's there hopefully i'm going to have a plank big enough to actually cover the main sheet and then if i need to put a couple of daft little corner bits in on the end just to hide it away i don't mind doing that i'd rather use up some of the off cuts that i've got in the garage rather than go out and spending more money on 9 or 12 mil ply just to be able to then just as I say do a little uh, locker fascia with it so I'm going to go and have a dig through all of the ply that I've got see what's going to be the most suitable panels and hopefully by the end of this video we'll have a fully fitted overhead locker and then I'll be able to complete the rest of the uh, headlining install and start cracking on with the actual build so let's get cracked on So that's the overhead locker pretty much complete now and ready to get fitted back in. As you can see on the other side I did have to put a couple of little extensions on because I didn't have quite a big enough ply sheet to do the entire length. As you can see there's just little corners on each side that have just extended the actual head locker out. So now that's fully carpeted up, it's time to get this all fitted in, get the door carpeted and then I'll have a fully fitted in overhead locker.
So there we go, there is the overhead locker fully fitted, installed and complete. The only thing left to do now is put a handle on. I've just put a little bracket on there just so I can open the uh, locker. But other than putting a handle on, and as I say, I'm thinking of actually putting a TV on here anyway, being able to have the TV flip up to still gain access to inside. Well, that's come out quite nicely. It's uh, quite secure. It's screwed into the metal bracing going over the overhead cab. And then on the inside, I've just got two little clips that have been sicker-flexed to the top so the actual top itself can't move and then once this, uh, the actual headlinings are in in place as well that will restrict the movement as well it can't move back because the high top slopes down and it won't be able to move forward because of the headline on either side and the roof line to come as well it certainly smartened up the overhead cab area a hell of a lot compared to what it was just bare shelf so as in now that's a nice deep storage cupboard area I'm still going to carpet line the inside of this as well I've still got a couple of bits to carpet line on the metalwork and things so there'll be a video of all the carpeting coming soon on, the, on my channel but as you can see it's fully transformed just the overhead cab area it gives loads of storage space so you don't necessarily need to start building any cupboard space or anything just because the amount of storage that that can offer is ridiculous really so I'm quite happy and pleased with how that's turned out. Just for the sake of using a couple of that was a nine mil ply off cuts that one from some of the flooring that I did before. So just for using some ply off cut, one piano hinge cut down to size, just along the top, and then carpeting all the way around. And there's one overhead cab locker fully complete. So hope you found this video useful. If you did. Do check out my channel, I've got loads of content on there already, I've already done four conversions, this is my fifth, and every single job in every single conversion has been documented on my channel. So, as I say, give this video a good old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button to follow along with the rest of this conversion, because it's about to start getting juicy now with the full bed build, the kitchen build, things like that. So, hit the subscribe button, thumb up the video, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video of my series. Thanks for watching. Cheers.